Hello Grade 11, it's Physical Science time and today let's talk about the forces that hold molecules together, the intermolecular forces. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe the general types of intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are the attractive forces present between molecules. A single drop of water is made up of thousands or even millions of water molecules. The question is, what hold these molecules together? As two molecules approach each other, the negatively charged electrons in one molecule are attracted to the positively charged nuclei in the other molecule. At the same time, the electrons in the other molecule repel these electrons. This complex combination of attraction and repulsion can result in the temporary distortion of the electron cloud around one molecule so that a weak overall attraction exists between the two molecules. This weak attraction is called the dispersion force. Intermolecular forces is called the Van der Waals force. There are different types of intermolecular forces of attraction. The London dispersion forces, the dipole-dipole forces, and the hydrogen bonding. Let's start with the London dispersion forces named after their discoverer, Fritz London. London dispersion force is the only force present in nonpolar molecules. It is very weak and acts in very small distances. It is formed due to the attraction between the positively charged nucleus of an atom with the negatively charged electron cloud of a nearby atom. This interaction creates an induced dipole and there is no bond or no sharing of electrons between the two molecules. For example, in a nonpolar molecule such as oxygen gas, there are no positive or negative ends. However, the electrons of this molecule are constantly moving. There are times when electrons move to one end, making such end partially negative, while the other end becomes partially positive. Hence, the molecule can have an instantaneous dipole. The temporary dipole of a molecule induces instantaneous dipoles on the neighboring molecules. In assessing the relative strengths of London dispersion forces between two different substances, compare their molecular weight and size. Larger and more massive molecules are more polarizable meaning they have a greater tendency to have a distorted electron clouds and have stronger intermolecular forces of attraction. Next is the dipole-dipole forces. This occurs between polar molecules. This is due to the partial positive pole and the partial negative pole of the molecule. They act as little magnets. Example, hydrochloric acid is a polar molecule. It has partially positive and partially negative ends. The partially positive end of the molecule is attracted to the partially negative side of another molecule. In assessing the relative strengths of dipole-dipole forces between two different substances, compare their polarities. A more polar substance will have stronger dipole-dipole forces compared to a less polar one. And we also have the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is a very strong dipole-dipole interaction. Hydrogen bond occurs in polar molecules containing hydrogen and any one of the highly electronegative elements, in particular fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen. Hydrogen tends to be strongly positive due to the strong tendencies of fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen to attract the electron towards it. The highly electronegative elements make hydrogen strongly positive. Example, consider the water molecule H2O. 
the hydrogen of one molecule is attracted to the oxygen atom of another molecule. Hydrogen bonding is responsible for the expansion of water when it freezes. This type of van der Waals forces represents one of the strongest types. And that's all for today. In our next video, we will discuss the effects of intermolecular forces on the properties of substances. Thank you all for watching.